you can follow the sequence. Okay. Like starting, middle, going out, and everything should start to fall into place. So, the way I like teaching bumpers is you could start in the middle, since it's the flattest section. Yeah. So I would start here. I would line this up, and I would tag down. Then I would start working here, and I wouldn't go too far. I'll break it up into smaller sections. So like once you get past this, then you just work to here. Then you work here. Then you work here. Then you work there. Okay. So break it up into smaller sections. So let's go ahead and try not to line up the middle. So here, our goal is to line up this little piece right here. And it doesn't have to be spot on, it just has to be very close. Here's what I'm looking at. So I'm lining up these loops. Do a soft pass down the middle, and then I can do a harder pass. So that first pass was 30 40 percent, my second pass 70 80 percent. Now that's locked in really nice, but so like where you first start has to be on point because this sets up everything else. Mm. If this was slightly crooked, this side would be lower, this side would be higher, okay. and you start having trouble that way and this way. Let's keep working towards our outside. I think one thing that really helped me is um, I, I used to just try and put on kits however until I really started focusing on like points. Okay. And then if you can go a step further, so someone designed it, right? Yeah. So someone designed this kit. If you can get into the mind of how they designed it, you can kind of follow their path. Or you can go to your cupboard up here, and they kind of give you an idea. One, two, three, four. They give you the idea of where to go. But notice how their, their, their attack points are on points. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's fair. The only thing that's hard about that is that they don't tell you, hey, this is point one. I was just noticing that their point one is they're saying like somewhere over here. They're or no, no, sorry, right here. On the tow hook. Yeah. Yeah, but I removed the tow hook completely, so I don't have to start there, I can start here. Oh, so okay. My own. So now this is one, and then right here is two. Yeah. And then this is three, and then here is four, and then here is five. See that? Yeah. There. Drink some water. I gotta drink water. It's my water alarm. Alright, so two. And with two, it's all about trying to pull that out, but lining this up at the same time. So we're going to have this. So here we have this little notch. Too. Yeah. So we're going to line that little notch up. Oh yeah, and then this just went away yep. because you lined that notch up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so more has to overlap even than I thought. Yeah, right here, that little guy. So as I stretch, boom. That flattens out. Yeah. So what's nice about kits is it, t it takes away that, like, you don't have to think as much, right? You don't have to think, oh, I gotta stretch this much. Mm. You're like, hey, I gotta line this up, and then that goes away. I'm gonna line that up there. Get this to tack. That stretch puzzle. The kit, the software doesn't tell you that like, hey, you line this up and you anchor this down. So it's this much anchor. Most people will just anchor here. Okay. That's a problem. Because if you anchor this, it all rips back. Okay. It puts so, a lot of stress on one little area. Mm -hmm. So that glue 
and just everything there. Okay. Yeah, this piece right here, I think, wants to sit further in. So I want to stretch this out a little bit. Yeah, that whole right. cut out. I want to pull that that way, but I'm not sure. I've never done this bumper, and I want to see how. Actually, no, it sits there. So that is where it goes. Oh, that wraps inwards. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna go lay this, oh. and then I check this, and that actually lays just like that. <sighs> okay. So. Yeah, that makes sense. For me, PPF is a lot of playing chess. So you have to do this move, this move, to then do that move. Okay. Right. When we're doing, I don't know, something else. It's it's. I think it's a lot of moves to get to the, the final move. Okay. So you may see me go here, 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 and then I'll finish all this. So like some people would see this and be like, oh, I should squeegee that down now. But in reality, you have to go anchor this down. Okay. So that that stays down by itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then... Your stretch is spread out over a longer period instead of like you tack this and then you force this section to stretch extra. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stretch it to about here. Something like that. Okay. Um, I don't like how much I have to stretch to then try to anchor it here. I almost want to go all the way over here with it. So we're going to play some games. So you learned the coast to coast, right? Yeah, it was a bit of both. Like some people would say, you know, starting on one side and working all the way to the other. What would happen for me is this would then start dragging up here because it wasn't really anchored. Mm -hmm. It was um, like starting on one side and then going like all, like it just, it was a mess. yeah. So I, I would tend to start in the center and work my way out. But what I would do is go through the whole thing from like the center kind of outwards. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily stretch over there and leave it relaxed in the middle. I was looking at it more like squeegeeing a window where you start in the center and you kind of work everything mm -hmm. outwards. So. PBF, there's so many ways to do it. That's kind of what sucks. Like I wish there was a playbook, but there isn't. It's a, hey, you can try, try, try this, this, and this, and this, and then that works. So, like, yeah. here I tried going here, then here, then here, and it didn't, it was kind of fighting me. But I skipped this step and went to this step, and now look, this is lined up really nicely. Yeah. So, I'm doing two steps to get to this step. Yeah. Which I really like this way better. Yeah. So, like, for software, like, I like having the idea of that, and then I kind of just make it my own. Okay. They're like rough guidelines. Yeah. yeah. So like here, my goal would be to line up this corner, this flat plus the corner plus this flat. And then look how much I've locked in. It's mm -hmm. not just here. It's the whole piece. Yep. Yeah, and this is just chilling there. Yeah, that's falling into place. No no fingers or no fingers no tension no nothing yeah because if you don't do that you have those fingers and then you're really just trying to get those to lock down and yeah nothing's gonna line up right it's good it's a it's a puzzle the puzzle that needs solving so i got this finger this finger this finger if i stretch them down they begin to go away Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go lock down down here. And here I have my flat plus that little corner. Okay. And this piece I'm wrapping. So i got to line up that corner on this bottom corner. Somewhere there. And I could finish this bottom piece as well. So it's kind of like the fender. Where we did our two bottom corners. Yeah. And then we lock this. That looks good. Let me take a look up. 
Just a nice little shape. Little small finger here, small mm -hmm. finger here, it's totally fine. Now we can begin to align this up. And then that falls into place too, which is nice. Nice. Alright, not bad. This has been stretched out really nicely, which I like. Yeah, it's almost squeezed itself out. Mm -hmm. That's the goal, is I really just want to line up my points so that everything stretches out so that the film wants to fall into place by itself. Okay. Let's lock in this piece now. That right there. Notice how big of a tack I did. Mm -hmm. It's not this little corner, it's this big tack right there. Um, I would like to go to this corner next. Because if I finish this and this is way off, then it's not in the right spot. Here, a small pull towards the inside is required to get this to line up nice. Notice how that falls into place. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Something like that. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. That. that begins to fall in place. That. Perfect. That's some. That piece right there is actually a lot of fun. It's a lot of thinking. Yeah, you have to leave enough slack for it to rest in there. So that's what's nice. So now we could finish, since we lined the point, 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 this could be a point, that could be a point. Now we can finish all the metal pieces. Okay. Remember on our, our hood install, how we can go left, right, up, down? Mm -hmm. It's because you'll run into scenarios where you can only go up now. So I've locked this and I've locked this. I can only squeegee up. Yeah. That's why I like starting with that on the hoods. Give you the idea, hey, I can go that way, I could go this way. Begin to run this stuff. Okay, so now this section's done, we can keep going this way. That we can leave to the very end. For PBF, I'm all about like doing the top first. Then you can work your way down. Hmm. So I have this body line that I'm kind of following. And then this. Yeah. Here. If you can get this to stay on its own, it makes it way easier. So what I did there is I pushed my air out and then held where the air is going to come back in from. Okay. Yeah, and use your hand like a little waterfall there and... Oh, that's staying real nice. Yeah, as soon as you put any water in there and kind of wash out that soap, it's like even if there's a ton of water still around it, it seems to lock down really, really nice. Dude, this, this, the way this has been acting, you're right, on this bumper, it seem a lot more friendly mm. where you have the time like it's a little tugged back in some spots but it's friendlier right yeah yeah you're not it doesn't look like you're rushing 
um, to try and like release the film back. It's giving you time to like, cause all this is still sitting here. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't want that to, you know, tack up so much that it's gonna ruin the glue. Nice. This whole area got a little dry, so I didn't necessarily love how it looked. I could always lift it back up. Put moisture underneath it and lay it down nice and flat. So now we have this whole section finished, mm. which I like. And we picked a nice bumper. It was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of moving pieces. Cool. Um, now we can decide, hey, should we finish this? Yeah. Or do we finish this? Okay, the one concerning part that I'm seeing is just this right here. Mm -hmm. I like, because you had to stretch this down and we anchored it here. Mm -hmm. Would you release this and pull the whole thing down to get rid of that? Yep. Okay. But you kind of, you needed to kind of anchor that down there for some of this up here. Mm -hmm. To get it started. Okay. But then there's no reason why I can't unanchor it. Okay. To then finish this section. All right. Yeah, so you, you got it, you get it right. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking to stretch yeah, it Yeah, because this guy, we don't want that to be that big. You want it to be much smaller. Yeah, half the size of it. Okay. And it did put a good pull down right there. We may need to do a little bit more, but... I'm comfortable with that finger because I know I can come in here, spray. Loosen some of that up and yep. okay. And then I can guide this finger towards the bottom. So start to pull it oh. towards the bottom. And I'm guiding it this way. Oh I'm, shit, I wasn't yeah. expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting you to try and push this out and kind of like evenly go out this way. Mm -hmm. So like that's... oh. God, it reminds me so much of, of shrinking a windshield or something where like that little finger then turns into like a giant one. So like you're like pushing this down here, but that just smoothed out. So we could spend 20 days, 30 days together and each day we'd learn something new. That's what's crazy about like PPF. There's so many, like that cool trick right there, right? Yeah, that was nice. Like, I was not expecting it all to lay flat like that. I was expecting that as you go down, that thing was going to get bigger and bigger. Okay. Cool. Let's get to just about here. Because I can leave this alone. Okay. We can start that side and we can come back to this. Because I feel like this is probably going to be the hardest part on this one. Okay. So we can save that for the second. All right.